Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today we'll be talking about drug classifications. And if you find this video useful, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share it with others who may find it helpful too. And if you'd like to have lifetime ad-free access to my pharmacy learning videos and handouts of all my slides, please consider enrolling in my online course today. The link to my course is in the comments and description. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So we'll begin by looking at what are drug classifications. Drug classifications are a way to organize drugs with similar properties into groups. Drugs can be classified in several ways and can have multiple classifications. The two main drug classifications are therapeutic classification, this is when drugs are grouped by clinical purpose, and pharmacologic classification, this is when drugs are grouped by their mechanism of action. So first we'll look closely at therapeutic drug classification. Um, therapeutic classification, as I said, is when drugs are grouped by clinical purpose. It specifies the change on the body the drug causes, but it doesn't describe anything about how the drug causes that change. So for example, um, antifungals, these are drugs used to treat fungal infections. Antivirals, these are drugs used to treat viral infections. And many of these therapeutic drug classifications begin with the prefix anti, and anti means against. And here's a chart of many different therapeutic drug classifications. And we're not going to go through each of these now, but um, we, my next video, we will be going through each of these therapeutic drug classifications. I just wanted to show you the table just to give you an overview. So now we'll look at pharmacologic drug classification. Um, pharmacologic classification is when drugs are grouped by mechanism of action. So it describes specifically what the drug does in the body, um, its mechanism of action, to cause that desired effect. So for example, NSAIDs, that stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, these drugs block the cyclooxygenase or COX enzymes, which causes a decrease in the production of prostaglandins and reduces pain and inflammation. And ACE inhibitors, these are drugs that block angiotensin converting enzyme, also known as ACE, to reduce blood pressure. And here you can see another um, table of the pharmacologic drug classifications. So these are describing the mechanism of action of the drugs. And my video after we cover the therapeutic drug classifications, we'll look specifically at each of these pharmacologic drug classifications. So now we'll talk a little bit about how drugs can be in multiple classifications. So medications can be in both a therapeutic and pharmacologic drug classification. Um, for example, lisinopril, this is a medication for high blood pressure. Um, its therapeutic classification would be an antihypertensive, and its pharmacologic classification would be an ACE inhibitor. And another example is fluoxetine. It's a medication for depression. Um, so its therapeutic classification would be an antidepressant, and its pharmacologic classification would be an SSRI. That stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor. So that actually tells the mechanism of action, whereas the therapeutic classification just tells what, it, what it's doing. So medications can also be in multiple therapeutic drug classifications. For example, acetaminophen or Tylenol, um, this is a medication for pain and fever. So as a therapeutic classification, it could be an analgesic and an antipyretic, both of those. And ibuprofen, it's a medication for pain and inflammation. So its therapeutic classifications could be analgesic and anti-inflammatory. And a single therapeutic classification can include multiple pharmacologic classifications. So for example, with antibiotics, the, that's the therapeutic classification. Um, this can include penicillins, cephalosporins, macrolides, and sulfonamides, and those are specifically pharmacologic classifications of those antibiotics. So you have antibiotics as the broad therapeutic classification, and within that you have some pharma different pharmacologic classifications. And another example is antihypertensives. Antihypertensives is the therapeutic classification, um, but within that, you have several different pharmacologic classifications of the antihypertensive. There are ACE inhibitors, calcium channel blockers, and beta blockers, to name a few. So we'll just look at a summary now and just some few key points to remember about drug classifications. So drug classifications are a way to organize drugs with similar properties into groups. And the two main drug classifications are therapeutic classification, this is drugs grouped by clinical purpose, 
and pharmacologic classification. This is when drugs are grouped by mechanism of action. And it's good to know, too, that medications can be in multiple drug classifications, as we talked about a few different ways that can happen. And up next, um, I'll be doing a video about the different therapeutic drug classifications, and that will be followed by a video about the pharmacologic drug classifications. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to see more of my pharmacy learning videos. And if you would like to have lifetime ad-free access to my pharmacy learning videos and handouts of all my slides, please consider enrolling in my online course today. And as I said, the link is in the comments and the description. Thank you.